Join us friends to know heartbreaking tragedy of Aaron Kaufman and why Aaron Kaufman leave fast and loud. At the end of video, I am going to reveal Aaron Kaufman personal life. So watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Considering the increasing popularity of the effective Discovery Channel program Fast and Loud, superheroes are bound to come out exactly as a result of being involved among the key figures in the program. Aaron Kaufman is definitely uncertainty one of the most noteworthy individuals on the program, excepting Richard Rawlings. Aaron's goals for the coming year have been impacted by several events, particularly those that occurred after he embarked the program. This has given him a great degree of power over the course that he wants to take in his profession and commercial career. From his resignation from Fast In, loud to an idea for an intriguing retail endeavor to a potential TV show. One of the celebrities of the Discovery Channel's Fast and Loud series is Aaron Kaufman. Kaufman, commonly referred to as the Mustache Wonder, teams up with Richard Rawlings at the Gas Monkey Garage in Texas to look for vintage automobiles to fix up and restore in order to then market them for earnings. Two spin-off series were born out of the show's 2012 premiere, Misfit Garage and Fast and Loud, Demolition Theater. Kaufman launched Arclight Fabrications, a manufacturing operation at Gas Monkey Garage that concentrated in the building of early Ford automobiles. Unlike most other reality series, Fast and Loud included humorous segments that tackled the show's topic in every episode. On January 26, 1982, Aaron Kaufman was born in Texas in the United States. Observing other children play with their possessions when he was small prompted Aaron's desire on how dolls and bike were put together. He acknowledged his father as an automotive technician and shared his passion for motor vehicles, but their shortage of funds prohibited them from going wealthy. It turns out that his only thought was to pilot a vehicle that could go off-road, and even though he didn't achieve what he wanted, he managed to live out part of it. But the longing faded shortly after his first car, a 1994 Jeep Cherokee. Because Kaufman was unaware of how to maintain cars economically, he modified the Jeep using just a few fundamental abilities he gained from his father. Aaron Kaufman's willingness to customize a Jeep Cherokee as his first car further stoked his interest in transporting auto components. He put a lot of work into his education and graduated from high school in his hometown of Crowley with the goal of becoming wealthy after personalizing his initial automobile. Following that, he worked very hard in college to hone his production, technician, and hot-rodding skills. While he was a child, he realized he had a talent for dismantling objects and assembling them. This eventually resulted in his passion of motor vehicles. As he grew more mature, his intense anticipation got him engaged in the hot rod culture. Although employed at a nearby garage, Aaron Kaufman came acquaintance with Richard Rawlings, an architect. In order to hire their technician to begin working on Rawlings' 1953 Chevy The Mainline, he drove there. The other guy was eventually content with Kaufman's job. Kaufman began his employment at the Gas Monkey Garage right when Rawlings launched its doors in 2002. He was in charge of recovering their old motor cars. Some of that were in horrible state as their main automotive repair. The business intends to purchase older motor cars, fix them up, and finally resell them to earn an income. Even though Rawlings and his team frequently perform repairs on the vehicles they buy in different U.S. territories, they frequently communicate with foreign clients. During the course of the next 10 years, Kaufman made a major impact on the store's progression into a very profitable business. Due to their financial wealth, they were managed to negotiate a garage show agreement with the Discovery Channel. Kaufman warned Rawlings in 2017 that he had intended to leave the Gas Monkey Garage. He elaborated that he became so stressed out by the unjustified delays that he devoted an extensive amount of time feeling dissatisfied and unhappy. Following mentioning the venture and the effect it had on his condition, Kaufman commented that the previous five years were seeming like 20 years, in response to Rawlings' statement that both of them had been in partnership for 14 years. In the year 2018, Kaufman hosted a short auto program on the Discovery Channel titled Shifting Gears with Aaron Kaufman. Following his departure from the Gas Monkey Garage and Fast and Loud, the media outlet accepts the advances that Kaufman and the others intentionally developed. According to Kaufman, Shifting Gears with Aaron Kaufman isn't as amusing, silly, or clownish as series like Fast and Loud, Misfit Garage, and Graveyard Cars. 
A little overly serious, maybe. These days, he travels the nation standing a range of expert duties for his additional program. Aaron needs a job. The Discovery Channel hosted the program's debut. The main business of Kaufman's Arclight is the repair and preservation of Chevrolet A100 trucks. He was captivated by these cars from the moment he started working in the automotive sector because of their powerful appearances. His second goal was to become an entrepreneur once he had sufficient cash. His accomplishments were shown by his continually rising net worth. Aaron Kaufman is a trained herself a technician who has created some of the greatest bespoke structures around nowadays. Kaufman was captivated by machinery and how they operated as a child. His father, who has always had an intense love for vehicles, is largely to blame for this fixation. As a consequence, Aaron acquired more understanding regarding maintaining and fixing automobiles. He attended college after high school, focusing on business. Around this time, he chanced to run throughout Richard Rawlings at school. Due to their shared love of automobiles, the two went on to co-manage the recently opened Gas Monkey Garage. Ironically, Aaron Kaufman acquired the renowned technician and building talents he required for these undertakings from an unlikely source. He didn't attend mechanic school, instead he gained his talents by intensive manual labor on his own and his friend's vehicles. He developed this skill set over time by building things in his garage and assisting others with improvements. Before Fast and Loud made their debut, there was a gas monkey garage. When cameras positioned across the company recorded hundreds of hours of film, it was Aaron Kaufman's residence. In actuality, the gas monkey garage was being built by Aaron Kaufman and Richard Rawlings during the show took place. This marked the beginning of Aaron's journey for his recently acknowledged objective of master construction. However, shortly before the first season of the program began, the Gas Monkey Garage was about to close. Aaron had to look for employment outside of the workshop, and he was able to do so at Four Wheel Parts, an off-road accessory company and retail outlet. The news that the Gas Monkey Garage will be a part of a show was a major turning point for Aaron and the company. In the end, this led him back to the shop, where he was able to construct some amazing vehicles. Aaron Kaufman's profession has progressed quite easily. Thus far in the field, he has had incredible achievements. Despite his short tenure in the industry, he has had considerable success. He's making a respectable living for himself via Arclight Fabrication, the company he runs. The supporters have long held an opinion that Aaron's firing from Gas Monkey Garage was the result of a conflict with Richard Rawlings. Others additionally stated that he was unable to put up with his previous boss's autocratic methods and that their disagreements were impassable. Concern was further heightened by the knowledge that Aaron was launching a new TV program in addition to his new business. But Richard made it clear to everyone that he and Aaron are no longer buddies when he pushed Aaron's fresh endeavor and initiative. During a discussion, Richard additionally acknowledged Aaron's commitment to working toward his own goals. Aaron allegedly has a net worth of more than $7 million. In addition to receiving at least $50,000 every episode from his reality TV program, he made some money by fixing and supplying components for classic Ford automobiles. He also made some money at the repair shop by repairing humid cars. Rawlings, Kaufman's identically ambitious buddy and supervisor at Gas Monkey Garage, put a lot of strain on him. It took the tenacious technician 24 weeks to build 12 motor vehicles. To accomplish this goal, Aaron would need to put in around 112 hours each week at work. Aaron made the decision to change course at this time, operating alone and putting emphasis on his audience. For many who had backed Gas Monkey Garage, the news was devastating, but Kaufman considered it as the official start of a new era. It appears such as his time in racing is coming to an end since he continues to make appearances on television. He had a very bright possible future ahead of him. We anticipate that he will keep up his outstanding efforts. Leave this video a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to our channels so that you can get alerts each time we post a new video. To enable alerts, just click on the bell. I really appreciate what you're saying. I'd like to see you in the next video.